Okay, first what we're gonna do is create a new project. Open Game Maker and create a new project. Game Maker language. Name it Post the Killer. And click save. So what we got here? This is sprite where we can put image on it. Insert image on it, and and then this is object where where we can move our player so we can put it in the room okay first right click sprites create a new sprite name it as player then import image I will put the link in the description the sprite I'm gonna copy all this and then click open so there's my there's our sprite I'm gonna put the origin on the media center all of them and change the animation speed to zero and So I'm gonna create a new object. I will name it O player. Change the sprite to player. And then create a new event. In this new event, I'm gonna create a variable for what we're gonna use on the game. Yes horizontal speed vertical speed gravity I'm going to set it to 0.1 this is create event where it will create event where it will run it once in the game once the player is created so at the event step step this step event will run every 60 frame depend depend on our our game I almost forgot about this click game option in above this then change the frame per second to 60 and click apply ok So in the stop event, we're gonna move our player. I'm gonna double slash movement. Double slash is for comment. I'm gonna create a variable called move. Key right. Minus key left. Okay, what it's gonna do here is we're gonna set our move to one or negative one. If we click on right right key, so if uh, the move will output will output one, where this is one and this is zero. One minus zero is equal one. And if we only press left then 0 minus 1 so negative 1 and then I think I will get an available for keyboard check key left right equal keyboard check keyboard underscore check keyboard underscore check vk right virtual key I'm gonna copy this and paste several time for key left and key jump 
I'm gonna insert key left for little key left and little and key jump for the little left e up. So so here. I forgot about key event. We set the walk speed to four. This is where our walk speed, player speed. So, visitor speed equal to move multiplied by walk speed. What it's gonna do do is if move if one is 1 then walk speed is 4 I'm gonna move 4 4 4 4 to the right 4 pixel to the right and then if move if negative 1 means is to the left then walk speed is equal to negative 4 you mean, you will, the player will move negative 4 to 4 pixel to the left I'm gonna gravity. I'm gonna do gravity. If little speed less than or equal fifteen, then equal BSP equal BSP plus gravity. So what it's gonna do is if vertical vertical speed uh, I'm gonna just vertical speed equal to vertical speed plus gravity uh, the player will fall down and then I insert it on the on the VSP lower than or equal to 15 means the vertical speed will have its limit Limit gravity speed. So I'm gonna do jump. If place meeting means it's meeting, it's meet where we can see here x, y, obj. Place meeting on the player x on y plus 1 means the player uh, means under the player object is object wall I'm gonna use it this is later and key jump key underscore jump If you are pressing the key, the jump key, and then we are on on the on the floor. So what it's gonna do is just vertical speed equal to negative nine. It will move to the up. To the up way. I'm gonna make a new sprite as sprite wall. Make a new. I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set it to 32 by 32. And edit image. I'm gonna color it to gray color. Then set the origin to center. And then make its object. Oh, wall. the x1 and then don't make it solid just set it so I'm gonna zoom in by press F8 and F7 for this editor so 
so what we're gonna do is horizontal relation relations if it's meeting the wall so it will stop next meeting x plus horizontal speed y or one object wall This mean when he's gonna move to the right or to the left and then have object wall, we're gonna stop it. <laughs> if we we if if we do this anyway, why do not place meeting? I'm gonna confuse it a little bit. S plus sign has a speed. Then x plus equal sign as a speed. So what it's gonna do is what's gonna do is while when the player want to move to the wall, then if they are we're gonna set it right onto the wall. So while it's not touching the wall this is not not touching the wall so x plus is not touching the wall what this sign is sign parameter is sign function is about change it into one one or negative one for some point hsp if it is four then sign HSP is 1 if it is negative 4 then it is negative 1 so if the player not right onto the wall then you're gonna move the player into the wall and then set the horizontal speed to 0 so the player will stop near the wall and lastly x equal to x plus positive speed I'm gonna change the s value to the positive speed then let's add vertical collision vertical collision where he gonna stop he's gonna stop at the floor so it's, it will not going down so it will not falling down if place meeting x y plus Critical speed, object one, then I'm gonna copy this. Change it to four y sine by sp. So, so so the concept is same like before where the vertic uh it will it will stop when it touching the wall and then y equal to y plus vertical speed 
or you can do y plus equal to the speed this is basically the same so we're gonna set up our loop zoom in a little bit zoom out a little bit so so what's going on here is I'm gonna clip the background change the background to sometime greenish but I think better blue darker ok and then on the right side this is our object player click the instance instance layer so we can get the object layer and then object wall and then I'm gonna grab this I'm I'm gonna run I'm gonna test the player so it's touching the wall it will stop then we stop okay nice So that's only for this this season this episode bye